Church is supposed to be a beautiful place where beautiful things happen, but sadly it doesn't always pan out like that. You may kiss the bride. Go ahead. You never know what might go down in the house of God. These are the 20 strangest events recorded in churches. Number 20. The plate seems like it's levitating. Well, yes, why the heck not? This seems perfectly legitimate, and the best way to demonstrate any kind of spirituality is to make stuff float around a bit, of course. The whole thing is of a dubious origin, but there are plenty of claims that it's from a French television broadcast in 1999, which shows a mass at Lourdes with a couple of cardinals and a few priests. There's also a dispute about the date of this event, since the earliest date found in association with the information is actually 2005. But really, what do any of the actual facts matter? This guy is doing levitation for Pete's sake. So there you have it, a priest doing some hocus pocus type of smoke and mirror stuff in the name of religion. Because yes, if there was ever a sign from a higher power, it would certainly arrive in the form of floating plates. <laughs> That just goes without saying. What do you think of all these priestly hijinks? Is this just a carnival trick, or is there some sort of spiritual power trying to contact the medium of plate levitation? Let's argue up a storm in the comments section down below, because you know you really want to. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This photo was snapped in a church and has everyone talking. It has to be one of the most mysterious things caught on camera in church, as the Pope's shadow seems to reveal a satanic secret, some kind of sign that he's not who he says he is, or maybe it's just a coincidence. Let me know what you think in the comments below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Intoxicated homeless man enters a church and asks to sing. So here's the case of something that appears one way, but turns out to be quite different, and perhaps it's a sign that we should all be a little bit less judgy. A man who appears to be intoxicated enters this church in Brazil and sits down at the front. He then makes several attempts to approach the preacher, each time asking if he can sing. The preacher finally relents and gives the man the microphone. The powerful voice that erupts from the man is a surprise to everyone within the congregation. and they're moved to stand up as he belts it out. As he goes on, people are overcome with emotion and seem to feel compelled to pray or even join in in singing, raising up their modern-day symbols of worship. You know, their iPhones. All the usual stuff. It seems as though the guy may have been pulling some legs with all of that drunk act. It turns out that he's actually a former beggar turned pastor who has made it his habit to go around the churches of Brazil with this act in tow. The pastor says that it's his aim to seek a welcoming inside of these churches churches and to see how people will treat him when they think he's a poor and intoxicated man. He then goes on to surprise them, of course. What do you think about all this tomfoolery? What kind of point does he even prove? Let me know your thoughts down below. Number 18. When a naked man flashes bride and groom. Some people will do just about anything for attention now, won't they? This wedding in Queensland, Australia took a more memorable turn when a flasher turned up right in the middle of the couple's vows. That solemn moment was somewhat shattered as the window behind the preacher opened to reveal a man in the altogether making a spectacle of himself. He waves to the stunned congregation and then proceeds to waggle about a bit, as one might if they were fully committed to such a public display of exhibitionism, I suppose. He then finishes up whatever his purpose was and closes the shutters again. Then a man in the wedding party sets off in search of the scoundrel, no doubt to box his ears and give him a jolly good talk. To. Get out. 
As what's happening dawns on the people, there's a sense of embarrassment that rustles through the wedding guests. The bride is, naturally, horrified to have had their day hijacked by one man and his nudity. Fortunately for everyone, the priest's head has provided a modesty shield in order to protect our delicate eyes from anything that's too surprising. But goodness me, what a ding-dong. Number 17. Woman Stops a Church Wedding well, it looks as though somebody has been up to no good now, doesn't it? This is quite an embarrassing situation. I feel like hiding just watching it all the way over here. It's super awkward. In a scene that could be straight out of a soap opera, this very angry woman arrives at a church and begins to shout. She calls for the priest to stop with the ceremony, as the man currently involved in taking his vows, well, he's already married to her. That's right, according to the woman, her husband left their home that morning and headed off to this church in order to marry another woman. I mean, that's really a bit rich now, isn't it? Anyways, as you can see, there's a gigantic kerfuffle and everyone inside the church seems to be rather discombobulated. What would you do in this situation? The bride and groom seem to become frozen to the spot, unable to move or to speak or indeed do anything else much at all. This is probably a bit of a shock for everyone involved. I just wonder if there was still cake and dancing afterwards. Number 16. Strange Man Charges at Bishop on the Pulpit even though church is usually a pretty safe place to be, it seems as though there are sometimes moments of unexpected danger, even in the midst of a sermon. This very short little video clip shows the moment that Bishop David Oyedepo was attacked at the pulpit of the Living Faith Church in Nigeria. It appears that there was a lapse in security at this massive church when a strange man in a white suit managed to circumvent the safety stuff in the arena and head straight for the bishop. He then appears to lunge directly at him. before swiftly being wrestled to the ground by a large group of men. All in all, it's a very rapid and sudden event, no doubt quite shocking for the man at the center of the attack, but apparently nobody can really understand what the whole thing was actually about. The man was then immediately bundled out of the building, and he was given a violent beating by the bishop's security team. Yeesh! Number 15. Ghost of a Dead Child in a White Balloon this one is one of the saddest and most upsetting of scenes. A family is mourning the death of a child in the Philippines when a strange thing occurs. The family had taken a few videos at the wake following the death of the seven-year-old son, and they say that the videos show helium balloons that appear to be gravitating towards the mourning mother. They say that they believe that the balloons were being moved by the spirit of the deceased child, all in an effort to comfort the grieving family. As one of the balloons seems to float very purposefully towards the grieving mother, it's easy to see how people might believe that this was indeed a ghostly visitation. The balloon then stays close by and seems to nudge at the crying woman. while she finds a little comfort in the moment with the balloon. Well, what do you think is actually happening here? And do any of us really need to have an opinion about it in the first place? Number 14. Dead Toddler Wakes Up at Funeral in Church this is the shocking and disturbing footage of a funeral for a toddler in which the child was discovered to actually still be alive. The family is in the Philippines, and they're not named in order to protect their identities. They were just going through the worst of experiences imaginable. The three-year-old girl had been taken very poorly earlier in the week and had a very high fever. She would then be taken to the clinic in the nearby town and was sadly believed to have passed away. It would not be until during her funeral that a relative opened her coffin to arrange the child that they saw her move her head and realized that she was actually still alive. Her parents rapidly took her from the scene and sought medical treatment, and no further information is available. But we should probably leave these poor people alone because they really have gone through enough. Number 13. African Man Dancing His Way in Church Well, after all of that sadness, I'm just about ready for something joyful. How about you? So, here you go, you lucky things. Two minutes straight of a man dancing it up in church. 
He appears to be having the time of his life, and he's really got the moves as well. It looks as though pretty much everyone else is more than happy to be swept along with his obvious enjoyment. Go on, have a little wiggle yourself. You know you want to. Just shake it. Just get out of your chair or off your couch and just move around. It'll be good for you. Watch him go. That's right, he's still dancing. There's literally no other information for the video, but it doesn't really need anything more now, does it? The guy is dancing and we're watching and well, you're most probably smiling as well. So just keep dancing and maybe we can all forget about all the other harrowing stuff of life. Number 12. Strange video of a possessed girl climbing the wall. Now, there's something just deeply unsettling about the way the woman in this video is moving, but the more that you watch, the more that it seems though there's also something suspicious going on. Do you think that she's something supernatural? Or is she just a human with some kind of hidden rope? As you would anticipate, there's been a huge amount of speculation about all of this, both on the internet and on chattier television shows. Apparently, this would be filmed in Malaysia, showing footage of a figure climbing up the outside of a building in a rather unusual manner. So are we witnessing a burglar with some special skills, or a climbing enthusiast, or Spider-Man's stunt double? Perhaps it's just a video that's made for all those internet clicks. This ghostly white-frocked woman has definitely captured the imaginations of the easily spooked and set off alarm bells of those who err on the side of skepticism. Perhaps what it is really gets to everyone is the unnatural movements that the woman seems to be making. Anyone who's watched certain Japanese horror movies is likely to get chills from this kind of thing. Genuine or not, it gives me the wiggins. Number 11 ghost caught on camera right outside of church. Can you see what's actually going on here? I do have to admit that there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of goings on in this footage, or maybe I'm just being short-sighted. There's a spooky looking church, it's dark outside, and the area beside the church is very dimly lit. We get a wide shot of the building in the dusk, followed by a little useful information on the screen informing us all that the video camera operator has now zoomed in and slowed down the footage for everyone to enjoy in a more thorough manner. Well, thank you kindly, you ghost hunting photographer. That's much appreciated, I'm sure. But unfortunately, even then, with all the extra slowness and extra close upedness, I just simply can't see anything in the least bit spooky at all. Can you? I mean, seriously, this is a conundrum that I'm really going to need your help with. So please, set to peering at this video over and over and trying to figure out what in the world we're supposed to be seeing, and then for Pete's sake, let me know all about it in the comments section down below, and I thank you in advance for all of your help. Number 10. Insects Invade Church And now for something with more than a whiff of biblical plague about it. If you're squeamish or especially anxious about insects, then this is going to give you absolute nightmares. If you're one of the people who gets especially upset about our stupid centipede, well, then this is not a visual you're going to enjoy much at all. Filmed in a Peruvian church, this footage depicts a fairly usual sight, to begin with at least. People singing off-key in church is fairly standard. But then you begin to notice the swarming insects. More and more, they seem to be gathering, landing on every surface, piling up on the floor, crawling across the pews, sticking to people's hair. Oh, it's just a horrifying sight. But somehow, the people inside the church stick it out for much longer than you would expect. And to be honest, I'd likely take one look at this horrific scene and run a mile, let alone park my posterior on a pew and proceed to praise the Lord. But then again, these Peruvian people are evidently made of much sturdier stuff than most of us. The scene outside of the church is no better as the insects continue to crawl and heap themselves up in ever-increasing numbers. There are millions and millions by now. Does anyone know if the church is even still there? Or was it claimed by an infestation and then burned to the ground mercifully? I can feel things crawling all over me right now. Number 9. Jesus Statue Moves Its Head During Catholic Mass in Mexico 
Oh, goody. Another Jesus statue appears to have been acting out in Mexico. It's one of my favorite things. What are they doing to their Jesuses down there? That's what I want to know. Filmed in the northeast of Mexico, this footage shows a large statue that depicts Jesus carrying the cross as it appears to move its head. Now, in all fairness, it probably does move its head. There's no reason that it wouldn't, but not because it's magic or anything like that. It's rather because it appears to be made from a material that may actually have moving parts and is dressed in fabric clothing, which can conceal its inner workings or whatever's there. Just why this is either a hoax or a miracle is what is unexplainable in this instance. Can't things just exist somewhere in the middle on purpose? What do you think? Do we all have to be gullible plums or cynical a-holes? Or can we just be sensible? Shall we have a discussion about it in the comments below? Number 8. Statue of Virgin Mary Weeping Blood at Bolivia Now, if I were a statue depicting a saint or some other holy person and some such, I would almost certainly want to express my supernatural powers or some sort of holy intentions by doing, you know, some kind of leaking or winking or pointing, you know, like in the movies. There's no way that I would be able to show a miracle through any kind of less obscure format. Miracles have to be weird and strange and stuff and can't absolutely happen any other way, right? I mean, they have to involve statues. There are rarely any other kind of miracle. So here we have one such statue doing all kinds of leaking in the pursuit of a miracle. The statue is of the Virgin Mary, which sits in a church in a small Bolivian village and it was caught crying tears of what appeared to be blood. She kept up this fandango for over a week and samples of the blood were taken away for analysis and the Vatican says that they would perform their own tests in order to verify the validity of this so-called miracle. In all the years that statues have been leaking liquids, there have only ever been a handful that have been endorsed by the officials at the Vatican. The rest have all been branded as being hoaxes. Whether this Bolivian bloodbath proves to be sufficiently miraculous for those sticklers, well, that still remains to be seen. Number 7. Body of Child Saint That Died 300 Years Ago Appears to Open Eyes on Video Oh great, now my YouTube feed is full of incredibly creepy and basically horrifying videos of dead people opening their eyes and whatnot. That's just awesome. That's exactly what I need. And who doesn't love a corpse peeping out at you from beyond the grave? Yeah. especially one that's been dead all of 300 years. Oh, and this one? Well, it's also a child and a saint, so it's just the perfect combination, isn't it? What is it with all these dried out old dead bodies and display cases all over the place? Whatever happened to letting the dead rest in peace? This is evidently not a peaceful scenario for anyone who's involved, though. Perhaps all the gawping faces and incessant lights shining on the body finally began to bug this girl. Even a saint has their limitations, you know. Whatever the case, Case, if you happen to be the individual who woke the dead with your nosy smartphone videoing, then you probably feel just the teeniest bit bad about it already. But however this went down, I know that one thing is for sure, these videos are not going to help me rest any easier at night. Number 6. Strange Creature in Church for starters, the title of this video is Strange Creature in Italy Church or Nicaragua Church. I'm going to hazard a guess here and say that if you don't know where you are when you're filming something, to the extent that you aren't even sure which continent that you're on, then you, my friend, might just be high. Okay, I eat this. Oh, oh. And somehow, that addled state in which you found yourself in either Europe or Central America seems to be infectious because I can see that strange creature as well. Can everyone see it? And what exactly do we appear to be looking at here? To begin with, I thought it just looked like someone's trousers had gotten caught on the roof of the church and were flapping about in the breeze, but then those trousers seem to take a new form as if they've sprouted wings 
and then took flight. Landing on the top of this dome, the creature appears for a brief second to have a vaguely human-shaped body. It is long and seems to have limbs, but with the addition of some very spooky and elaborate wings. Is it just a really big bird, or perhaps something else is going on? Let's get stuck in the comments down below and talk all about it, because I really want to know what you think about this one. Number 5. A white dove shows up during a blessing in the Orthodox Church for Peace. During times of crisis, it's important to find comfort in whatever places and moments that you can. During a blessing for peace by an Orthodox priest in the Ukraine during the early part of 2022, it would be a timely arrival by a winged visitor that offered some comfort. This white dove arrived on the scene in a way that nobody could have possibly choreographed to have been more perfect. As the priest went about all the rituals and prayers and such, the bird most associated with peace flew slowly and methodically into the area and took up a position at the top and center above the altar, as if it had been trained to do just that. Some people have decided that this was in fact the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, having taken the form of a bird of peace to visit the blessing. Maybe it is just a bird with a profoundly powerful sense of drama and impeccable timing, but however you might choose to look at it, it is a pretty unique moment. There's no arguing with that. Number 4. Angels seen entering a Russian Orthodox Church during an all-night vigil. It is a well-known fact that angels simply just can't resist an all-night vigil. They'll rock up and get involved in that if they even catch one sniff of these things going down. So when a bunch of apparent angels all began to descend upon this Russian Orthodox Church, nobody should have been that surprised about it. Perhaps that was what was most surprising, was that they looked a whole lot like a sort of photoshopped puff of smoke floating in from the sky towards the tower of the church. Hmm. It does seem a little bit odd now, doesn't it? I mean, the last time that you saw an angel flying about, what did they look like? Were they all wispy and nondescript such as this? Or were they all a bit jaded and photoshopped? Let's all exchange our best angel encounter stories while we watch these fluff balls float around in the sky. Number 3. The Church of the Ghosts in Czech Republic now, this one's just a barrel of laughs. Just what we all needed before getting tucked up in our beds for the night. An abandoned Eastern European church that's full of scary stuff. I'll definitely sleep more sound after this, I'm sure. Twinkle, cover your little guinea pig eyes. It's just too horrible to watch. Known as the Church of the Ghosts, and I really can't imagine why, this church is in the Czech Republic and is actually going to haunt me forever. Through the hole, already very creepy, tumbled down church, there are white shrouded human-shaped life-size figures. The place has been abandoned since the 1960s, but is still full of parishioners, or their ghostly forms anyway. What appears to be an art installation, or a very bad joke, has turned the interior of this holy building into a terrifying vision of nightmares. Seriously, is anyone even alright with this? Let's get some group therapy going on in the comments below. Because I can never unsee these images, and I need to go cuddle with my pet guinea pig Twinkle. Number 2. Jesus Statue Miraculously Opens Eyes During Church Mass there is no reason to assume that there's anything suspect going on here at all. I mean, there's literally someone with a phone in their hands at all times in most places around the world, so why not standing in a church in Mexico at the exact moment that a statue opens its eyes to peep around the place? it does seem extremely likely and not at all convenient. So, what the footage apparently shows is the distinctly unsettling imagery of a depiction of Jesus on the cross, eyes closed in death, and then suddenly the statue's eyes open and seem to take a quick glance around before closing again. There's nothing to see here, surely. But someone filming the altarpiece does manage to capture the whole event on camera. How lucky is that? Without this fortunate individual being in the right place at the right time specifically 
specifically doing this particular thing, as the world of internet paranormal enthusiasts would not be able to sit in their office chairs and pass judgment on this dubious and grainy footage. Whatever would we do for fun? Anyways, what do you think's going on? Is this actually a miracle? And if that's what you think, what is its purpose? Or is it perhaps a hoax? Let me know all about your fascinating insights in the comments below. Number 1. Man Catches the Holy Ghost During Church Wedding In some footage that looks a lot like it's part of a cheesy 90s television show, we're introduced to a clip in which we're told that the man is in the process of getting married and somehow catches the Holy Ghost, whatever that might mean. What we're actually party to is a man who, in the midst of his supposed wedding vows, begins showing off to the nth degree. He begins shouting and exclaiming, all the while drawing laughter and bemusement from all of those who are around him, including the pastor who's apparently officiating at the wedding. You may kiss the bride. Go ahead. Well, I don't know about all this hooting and hollering being anything much to do with the Holy Spirit, least of all when the words flash up on the screen. The words say that he received $10,000 for this. So despite the fact that this all seems like a rather exciting and bizarre sort of moment in the midst of a wedding, what we're actually looking at is basically a game show. I mean, if you're old enough to remember, that's what television was like back then. It was kinda lame and also pretty weird, like it is now actually, but with grainier footage and no Netflix. So there you have it, I'm fairly convinced that the guy is not suddenly getting all that holy spirit taking a hold of him, but it seems a lot more like he was just caught up in the spirit of being on the television and winning some money. But please, if I'm wrong, then don't hesitate to tell me exactly how very wrong I am in the comment section down below. That's what it's there for, after all. So tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever witnessed a strange and unexplainable thing in church or even elsewhere? If paintings pray and statues weep, what else is going on out there in the world? Let me know all about your spookiest stories in the comments below, but excuse me, I have to go and comfort poor old Twinkle. All these frights are not good for a little guinea pig's nervous disposition, and let's all remember that dancing man and try to bring a little bit of joy with us through the rest of our tedious and internet addled day now shall we? If you want more dancing and less nonsense, let me hear about that as well. You know you want to. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.